You can look at archaeological reports and read books and look at illustrations, but there's nothing quite like walking in and smelling the right smells and experiencing the atmosphere of a building. You can read things in textbooks, you can be told by your teacher, but to actually get in there and have a go really brings it alive. People can go up to Hadrian's Wall and stand right at the edges of the Roman Empire, experiencing what it was like to be a Roman soldier stationed up there. The Holy Grail is to get people in the place where history happened and to make them feel that they're part of it. In bringing history to life, the key for me and for my team is to find meaning in the objects. It's to find a relevance in them that people can in some way connect to. I'm trying to allow people to find their own storylines from what they're looking at. Mary, I'll make sure you chop them nice and small. Yes, Mrs. Welcome. I want to make sure that my rhubarb jam is better than Mrs. Warwick's. <laughs> <laughs> the way that we train horses here is how they would have been trained 350 years ago. When you see a joust, it's done exactly how it would have been done all that time ago. Visitors can get very hands-on. There's a big variety of events that they can engage with, and it's amazing to see the visitors' reaction. They really feel the emotions of the moment. Digital works, reenactment, first person work, it all helps to bring history to life. <laughs> <laughs>